What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are back in Farming Sim 19 back here on Sandy Bay and we are going to be doing the uh, planting of soybeans today. I already actually already have the tractor hooked up to the planter, cedar, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling it a planter. Um, I did add a couple things off video. Yeah, because we're not streaming this. Um, I added this. this. So this is like a... Uh, universal seed fertilizer station uh, it's amazing it's awesome and then I also added in a cell point on the farm because honestly on this map I don't like to drive all the way across the map but anyway here's the universal cell point on the map and it'll show up on our menu let's see if I pick the right one nope it'll show up on our cell point menu as edge grain vault black so you can see our soybeans are like 40 bucks there so we may actually take them down to the garden center when they grow we'll see what happens we'll see what happens here um it takes a little bit like a day or so for it to like adjust its prices and all that and i like to have one of those on the farm and all that anyway just because it's easier you don't have to drive all the way to town but we will need thinking about that we're going to definitely need a wagon to put on the back of this when everything's grown so one thing i did find out like i was trying to load into the game and it kept cra it wouldn't load and so the nice thing is, is i turned on the uh, developer console and you can do the searching the bleep bloops on the onlines for that and i was able to figure out which mod it was that was i was having the issue so it was the global company mod was having the issue and you can see because i don't have the fancy icons anymore that 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 was the problem so let's jump into the tractor let's get over there and let's uh let's start planting i know i don't have the soybean selected yet so let's get in here and yeah because i still have wheat barley so i'm using a controller and this is a left bumper to switch those so i'm going to switch this over to soybeans and let's let's fire this bad boy up and get going Oh boy! Now you know just a little bit of a just a just a little bit of a jump there. So swing her out wide, bring her in. All right. I'm going to leave that gate open because I don't need to have it shut. Alright. Well, let's get to planting.
All right. Quick and easy. Quick and easy with course play. So if you don't have it, make sure you get it. It is... It's awesome. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. It's everything. It's everything. All right. Let's go ahead and check what our fields look like. So we got 31, 32, and 33. Uh, we know that we've got uh, soybeans planted in here, so we can turn that off and see that. And it just we just planted, so it's just all green. And what we need to do is we need to find out what we need. So we can see right here that we have to lime all these fields. So what that means is, is that we've got to buy a spreader for that. So we're going to go over to the, sorry, we're going to go over to the purchase menu. And we're going to do tools. And then we're going to jump over to crop protection, I believe it is. And I can't remember if this one can hold. Can it hold one of those? So we can do, I think that's lime, right? That's herbicide and fertilizer. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we got to go to fertilizer technology. And we need to get one of these because the rock is the lime. So the issue is, is that lime is very, very, very expensive as far as like you have to use a lot of it. So let's do ahead, go ahead and customize. Actually, let's just, you know, we're just going to full send this. Uh, we're going to get the extension on the top. We're going to get the spreading discs because we want that. And I'm just going to go with the regular tires. It's going to be 76,000, but we're going to use it over and over again. We could use it for fertilizer. We can use it for lime. We can use it for everything. Um... We're probably we're probably going to get multiples of these, multiples of these, and in that way we have one for lime and then one for fertilizer. So let's go ahead. I got to go over here, open our gate. Let's head back to the farm, and we'll pick up our what we'll have while we're waiting. We'll we'll have our we'll have our lime spreader delivered. So jump up here. Reset. Yep. And we got our lime. We got our lime spreader. Our spreader delivered. All right. Off we go. Back to the farm. I'm very thankful that these uh, this tractor goes 26 miles an hour. Uh, one one you may notice uh, I have a I have a mod <laughs> I can't talk today. I have a mod in that changes all my stuff to American U.S. values as far as tons, bushels, etc., miles per hour, all that stuff, uh, money, everything. That's because I'm an American. So we're going to go ahead and put the the planter away. We'll come back and get that in a second. One thing we need to do is we need to make sure we spray this bad boy off. So let's go ahead and do that real fast. We'll come back. We'll spray our tracker when we're done. Get this bad boy all hosed down. I'm telling you, American Truck Sim helped me to learn how to back things up in games. I'm pretty decent at it in real life. Game-wise, though, it definitely helped there. Alright, that is not what I wanted. It's the A button. Alright, let's go get our lime spreader. We may actually use the entire the entire thing here, so I'll show you this 
Oops. I go on and on about me backing up, and then I, you know, back up the wrong direction. So I'll show you this um, universal buying station. I don't know what you want to call it. I'll show you what it is in the in the um, the thing here in a second, where you can buy it. it. Yep, there we go. I'm still remembering some of my keyboard commands. Get it under here. And we're going to select Lime. Like I said, this stuff's kind of expensive. As far as, you know, something to put on your field. And we may end up using this entire thing on that field. So it costs... Well, actually, that wasn't too bad. 4600 So this station, if I go to... Sorry. If I go to here... And I go to miscellaneous. Um, this is the food and fertilizer shop. So that's what that is. And the other one is the multi-selling station black. Or actually, it's just called multi-selling station. So, and then I have a bunch of other mods in here for stuff. So, all right. Let's head back over and let's do some liming. I think is we won't have to close the gates for this one because we can be, you know, pretty far out. And it won't take very many passes to do the entire field since we have that huge spreader on the back. Woo! Almost wrecked it. We will definitely, probably, most likely be renting our combine. We'll see how much it costs when we get to that point. So this one actually only needs the outside. So we'll just hit the out we'll just hit the outside on this. Gotta zoom out some. Yeah, so basically it's calling for lime where I where where I created the field the last time. If you weren't here for the last episode. Since I hadn't played in a long time, it had pro it's been a few months since I've played. I've just basically forgot all my uh, controller commands and everything, and I thought I was, I thought I was making field parts, but I actually wasn't. So, and then I turned it on, and then I started, you know, plowing a field that was I didn't need to. So anyway, that's what that's all about. And since this is only gonna be one pass around the outside, I won't. You won't. We won't have a time lapse of this one. We won't have a time lapse of this one. But we definitely need to get the entirety of the other field. So we'll go ahead and do some course play on those. I do like that it does make my tires white when I'm driving through the line. That's pretty cool. Ooh, almost messed it up. All right, let's get our course play out here. Probably do not need two headland passes. What? We'll keep two. 18 meter working with space generate and generate. Yeah, so it's only going to do one anyway. So we will hit back. Back our tractor up here. I always like to start back a little bit, and that way it can just run into the, 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 the spot. So, all right, we'll be back in a minute.
All right, you can see we missed a couple spots here with course play, so we're going to have to run back over those real fast, or they'll keep hanging out on the map saying we need to do them. So let's, let's go ahead and get those real fast, and then we'll head back over to the other field. You know, quick little thing right there. Course play isn't perfect, but it does do 90%, 95, something like that. All right, we're going to go ahead and do this one ourselves. Give it a shot, you know. All right. All right. Um, that's going to do it for this episode. We have done, we've got our field plowed, planted, limed. The next step will be we'll have to do an, another round of fertilization and then it'll be time to do harvesting. So let's check, let's just throw it, let's just jump in here real fast and look at and see how much our combine is going to be. Um, harvesters. And I'm actually probably let's check our mods so we've got the rostel mash and again i may be pronouncing that terribly is 214,000. um that's probably the one we're going to go with and then the header we're probably going to go with uh will be the foldable one so it's going to be probably the this one or Pro I don't know that I can get the the 7.2 on there. That might be too big. But we'll definitely be doing probably the 6.6 the .6 meter one. So that's probably going to be, yeah, because we, yep, that's probably going to be the one we go with for that combine. Just because we got to get into these tight areas and I don't really want to drag it behind the combine. So it's a, kind of a universal head. So we'll do that one. So we're looking at, how much was that again? Let's see. Um... 60 some thousand or something like that for that and then so we're like 270 or 80,000 overall so we should be good to get our a couple a couple other things we should be able to get our fertilizer truck our combine and we should be able to get the uh wagon to haul behind the tractor so we can pick up all that stuff so like i said we'll be back in the next episode I'll kind of forward with the time and get to the point where we do the next the next steps because we don't you know just sit around here talking like we're doing right now we don't we don't need to do all that so yeah thank you so much for hanging out really appreciate you we'll be back again for more farming sim 19 looking forward to the launch of farming sim 22 thank you again thank you so much for hanging out we'll see you in the next episode take care